Thank you, Don. Uh, I'll let, introduce our final uh, and third speakers of this session. Um, they are Francisco Blancho um, and Eloy Amatveros. Uh, they are uh, respectively with Technos Saluo, and I can't remember the, I'm probably uh, would butcher the second one anyway. So with, uh, with that, I'll turn it over to them and they are presenting remotely. <clears throat> Hello, uh, I think you hear me, no? Uh, I am Francisco Blanco uh, from Mexico, from Tecnosuelo, and uh, my colleague uh, Eloy Jimenez will present later, no, from Spain. Uh, we're going to present some experience we have uh, with uh, embankment monitoring, and uh, we want to share our, our point of view and the uh, difficulties and uh, lesson learned that we had. And, uh, okay. So, uh, <clears throat> mainly we have uh, uh, in Mexico, uh, uh, I will say, uh, mainly from, from the clients, a different perspective uh, understanding geotechnical engineering. Probably they don't uh, understand fully the complexity of geotechnical engineering, and uh, they do not uh, understand the gap between the the, the model and the, the real results of the geotechnical uh, behavior. So uh, sometimes it's quite uh, complicated to, to put into the project the geotechnical monitoring because they don't see value. And uh, if we follow the, the how say, the way of thinking, no? if, if you think that uh, a geotechnical model is deterministic, no, and you can't 100% uh, uh, know the results, uh, then there is no need for monitoring, no? But the reality is completely different, no? And uh, we, we want to, to point out uh, uh, particularly uh, our experience in three projects, one in the port of Manzanillo in Mexico, the second one in the highway in, in next to Morelia in Mexico also, and the third one in Andalusia in Spain. And uh, well, let's see. Uh, <clears throat> well, mainly the 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 the, the main uh, difficulty to put in uh, forward the monitoring in, in developed countries like Mexico is the cost. They they see it like a cost, not like a, an an investment. They don't see the value generated by the monitoring, no, and. Uh, uh, how I say, and it was because of the points I pointed out earlier, uh, uh, and uh, it, it's mainly linked because the, the the models are simplistic in in geotechnical engineering. You have also models that are not linear, no, like uh, consolidations, and you have also uh, not all the information you will want on on the site, no, like. Uh, not enough uh, geotechnical parameters, not enough uh, boreholes. So you have variabilities due to the model, you have variabilities due to the uh, information. And uh, that's it. Uh, one way to, to put forward the value is to use the expected value. And uh, in this sense, uh, you can analyze uh, the, the, the value created by the monitoring. Uh, with the weighted average of the uh, of the probability probability of a cost or a benefit, no, uh, and make the, the the sum of all this. You can see it with the, this formula. And uh, <clears throat> how say? Uh, and uh, putting that in, in perspective of the embankment project, we're going to to talk uh, mainly. Uh, uh, we have uh, some some risk regarding the embankments. Uh, this these embankments were treat, treated uh, in advance, so we don't have uh, damages damages, or we we reach the uh, geotechnical capacities we were looking for. No, so if we don't uh, arrive to 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 the right treatments, no, and uh, 
one way to, to know that is by the monitoring. We, we can have, a, a, how say, it, affectations on the, on the pavement or affectation, for example, on the, on the docks, on the port. And, uh, but on the other side, you can, the, the monitoring can be also really useful for, uh, how say, making uh, improvements and, uh, how say, on the performance, no? Mainly uh, reducing times for the uh, consolidation process, no? Uh, our first project uh, we're going to talk about is the Manzanillo port. Uh, this one is the biggest container port in Mexico, no? It's on the Pacific uh, coast. And uh, you can see on the lower part, the, the how say, the, the port part that was uh, expanded, no? This area is around uh, 12 hectares. And uh, this, this zone was uh, uh, some space gained by, uh, was an old swamp. It was gained by dragging the soil on, on the port, no? So we have a, a lower layer of organic clay, and then we have a granular soil with uh, the, the dragged uh, part, no? Mainly, the treatment was uh, uh, focused in two parts. One was a, a consolidation with the surcharge, and then a, a dynamic compaction for the for the granular uh, upper soils. And uh, I will talk mainly of the clays. No, uh, for the clays, they were installed several instruments. No, they were uh, some. Uh, uh, how say, uh, deformation instruments, we have uh, settlement plates and the uh, magnetic uh, sensor on, on, on deep, no? You can see here the, the scope of this. And we, uh, and we had also indirect uh, measurements of piezometers, no? Also three inclinometers, but mainly to, to see if we make some type of uh, affectations to the existing port. And, uh, well, uh, we put in place the, the equipment and mainly be, uh, regarding the, the the deformation instruments, the, the settlement plates and the ma magnetic uh, sensors, uh, we, we could define exactly when we have uh, uh, reached the, the consolidation. And, and because of that, the schedule was uh, uh, improved. Uh, one of the main problems we encounter with with this project, no, and that's uh, I think also related to the uh, lack of uh, geotechnical complexity comprehension. Is that uh, uh, even if we ask it to to put the piezometers in other uh, stratum or other places, no, uh, they they were put only on, on on one height. So we have some piezometers who were on the granular soil and not in, in the clays also, uh, there were useless for the consolidation measurement process, no? And uh, uh, how say? Well, that's a, that's an, 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 an error because of communication, compression of the complexity. And uh, uh, how say? Well, it's, it's part of the points that we want to, to put forward and uh, uh, like an idea of this presentation, no? And, uh, the second project uh, is an, um, uh, also an embankment for a road. No, this road, it's uh, going uh, through the Bajio in Mexico, is uh, the middle part of Mexico, to the port of Lázaro Cárdenas, who is also in the Pacific. No, in this case, we use uh, some uh, pressure cells. No, uh, under the the embankment, and then the embankment was constructed. And uh, uh, mainly the, the advantage here was a, a, a good reduction of the time of the embankment stabilization. No? Uh, probably here, the, 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 the main concern is that uh, because uh, the planning is, is normally more linear planning, this, this advantage on the consolidation process couldn't be fully, uh, uh, how say, uh, Used by 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 the by the construction process in general, no, and uh, let's say. And next we have the the Andalusia project, and now uh, my partner Eloy is going to continue with the with with the presentation. Thank you very much.
<clears throat> Hi everyone, I'm Eloy Kimene. Hi everyone, I'm Eloy Kimene. I'm a civil engineer from Granada in Spain. The third study case is about the geotechnical monitoring <clears throat> in Sierra Nevada Highway. We had instrumented five settlement lines in four embankments. <clears throat> there is a lithology composed of heterogeneous soil with low plasticity soft clays. And the main embankment are the number four in the upper picture <clears throat> in one of the connection to the highway and number five in the lower photo. That is the longest impactment of the project. Both are placed over a layer of top clays with a thickness between 8 and 12 meters. Settlements were recorded between 25 and 30 centimeters with a post construction <coughs> consolidation time of three and four months. With these long-term settlements, if we don't adequately control the stabilization things, we have a real risk of damage to the pavement layers. The pavement cost is one third of the total embankment budget. Main benefit of geotechnical monitoring in this project is that it really helps decision making about when to start the construction of the upper layers. With a complete geology, monitoring is more efficient and safe in order to verify the achievement of consolidation detected. This means real cost and time savings. Next. <clears throat> Instrumentation technique used in this project was a vibrating wire settlement profiler. The system has a, a, a probe with an electrohydraulic cable, um, a reference tank, and a reel. <clears throat> Sensor measure hydraulic pressure between profiler and reference tank and take elevation of every point by comparison between the chair. The main advantage is that it is an economic technique as the technological equipment is external and is not lost in the ground. Uh, measurement don't create interferences during const construction wars. <clears throat> this technique has some limitation. One of them is that it can present system, systematic errors by the gap between the tube and the broad and by sinusoidal deformation on the tube. <clears throat> Other limitations are that it's non continuous register in time. It requires manual measurement and manhole to be protected from machinery and plates in non flat zones. <clears throat> A complementary technique is topographical leveling. In Sierra Nevada Highway, we use reference pins to detect the formation in the impactment core and the surface that can be detected with the profiler. About the conclusion, the geotechnical monitoring generates tangible time cost benefits and tangible time and cost, cost benefit for project. Geotechnic is a non-fully deterministic discipline with variability and uncertainties result. Instrumentation is the most efficient method for the optimization of time and resources. 
it is a useful tool for the validation of the geotechnical model and control of risks. Um, the instrument instrumentation benefits are usually not perceived due to when the deviation are detected, actions are adopted to avoid the failure, and the negative events are hidden. Monitoring benefits could be quantified with management tools as the expected value in order that loss scenarios and its probability can be evaluated. In ground improvement projects and road embankment, the instrumentation is an important aid for the decision-making process to achieve the improvement objectives. Main parameters in consolidation process are settlement and poor pressure. There are a wide range of instrumentation techniques to apply in every project with the possibility of automatization and real-time data collection. And the topography and geotechnical monitoring are synergistic disciplines providing robust information. Thank you for your attention. Now it's over to you for questions. Thank you, that was excellent. Uh, I don't see any on the feed. Do we have any questions from the live audience or authors? Okay, so we don't have any questions uh, for after this presentation. So with that, I'll pass it over to back to Roberto.